I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes, and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Tell me one thing: Is there anything that you're missing? What's up, you guys? Happy holidays! I am having the best time doing this series. This is the second part of my Christmas clean and decorate, and I am loving how everything is turning out so far. I am having a big get together tonight, so a lot of cleaning, a lot of Christmas decorating, and a few recipes that I'll be sharing with you guys at the end of the video that are super simple and delicious. So if you wanna hang out, get yourself a nice cup of coffee, cozy up, Let's deck the halls together and consider subscribing. I do a lot of lifestyle content, mommy, makeup, motivation, and I would love to have you here. So if you wanna hang out and you're curious how my decorations have turned out for part two, then just keep watching. All right, getting in the cleaning Christmas spirit with some jazz. Before cleaning, I unloaded some groceries. I had picked up some fun things for my nieces and nephews to do while they were here, you know, just trying to be that aunt and then also got my kids some elf on the shelf things do you guys have an elf does your elf go all out is it a simple elf i would love to know does your elf sometimes forget it because i could probably relate we stay up waiting for seven tonight he climbs down the chimney got some new cleaning products to motivate myself and then also use some coffee. That is my favorite. The cinnamon dolce is so good. It got me in the spirit. I hope this video can give you some inspiration as well. I know the holidays can be crazy, so hopefully if you have something you need to tackle, this video can help motivate you and I hope you enjoy. So I wanted to say thank you for everyone that left positive comments on my first decorating video and I had the best time doing it. So seeing that a lot of you guys loved it and just said some nice things just really meant a lot. And I can't wait to do many more decorating videos in the new year. Saying hi to every friendly face and later we warm up by the fire. So just picked up a few things around the house and always finding these little guys laying around. <laughs> this is a regular occurrence, flashes everywhere. And then I found this trick online to put tool uh, inside your tree to make it look fuller and it really worked, especially because this tool matched my tree. It looked so great even without ornaments. We had already decorated it before, but I'm glad that I did this. My kids were excited to decorate it again. We did a deep clean today. Even got under the couch. You did not want to see under there. That was real life right there, but it's always nice having people over because it gives you an excuse to really go in and get dirty and it feels so good to have a clean house. basically bought out Bath and Body Works. I got this snow globe that sings and it is so sparkly and then got my favorite candles from there. The vanilla balsam is so good and then that gingerbread marshmallow is ah, 
amazing. fairy lights. I have used these in pretty much every decorating video that I've done. I love them so much. They come with a remote that you can use and they sparkle and they just add so much to the house. And then that calendar I got from Target. I thought it just looked so old fashioned and it's an advent calendar I think we'll have for years to come. I love it. tip maybe don't get in the bathtub with your slippers on after you've been cleaning all day because you will have to clean the bathtub again I'm just saying went to lush and got bath bombs I put bath bombs in this apothecary jar every holiday for my kids they love taking baths with bath bombs and I think this looks great by my bath and then that twisted peppermint body washes from Bath and Body Works. I get that every season. It smells so good and it just makes you feel so clean and I am addicted. That plug from Bath and Body Works was adorable and you guys, it was a Christmas miracle. I had ordered that pillow and Pottery Barn said it wasn't gonna come until April and my daughter was disappointed so she was so excited when it came. Save the day, say yeah your name. Now will you pull my sleigh? Time to decorate this big area in my house. I usually keep this entertainment well, center very simple and minimalistic, Christmas. but because I just go buck wild during the holidays, I was inspired to decorate more for the New Year's. So I think I'm gonna do a shop and decorate for New Year because this area just turned out so good. Tell me one thing. Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you I had that lantern before and then added that bow. I think if you add a bow to anything, it just automatically makes it Christmassy and cute. I usually keep this area more neutral, but I am loving the red and white. I'm pretty sure in a few years, this place is just gonna look like a Whoville Grinch candy cane wonderland. And then the snow spray right there, I use that on my flocked tree. So if you have a flocked tree that isn't flocked enough, you can actually use the spray on it to fill in sparse areas. I got that light up tree at Kirkland's. It reminded me of the Disney castle. It glows purple and green and pink. And I'm not gonna wanna put that away after Christmas. I love that peppermint red garland I also got from Kirkland's. picked up the Polar Express for my kids. We love that one and The Night Before Christmas. If you have a favorite holiday book, Christmas book, favorite family book, I would love to know because my kids are wanting some more. I love the way that this area turned out. I love the pops of red and white. Let me know what you think. All right, so for an easy dip recipe, I know the holidays can be crazy and this is my favorite ever. It's just Jimmy, Jimmy Dean sausage, Philadelphia cream cheese, and Rotel. Just three ingredients. If you have a party, I can almost guarantee that everyone will love this. Every time I tell people it's only three ingredients, they freak out because it's so good. 
then this recipe, you can actually, I'll leave a link for it down below. Anthony's uh, had this growing up in his hometown. And the chef used to make it for ballroom dancers after their competitions, which is kind of cool because we are dancers. And it is so delicious. So I will leave that link down below. There's a few ingredients, but it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. And we make this every holiday and it's just that good. From the chimney, I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Okay. Texas toast is all ready to go. Roma tomatoes all cut up. And then we're gonna slice the turkey. And then we're gonna pour the cheese on top, let it brown and bubble all delicious like. And then we top it with parsley. I'll show you guys when it is done. It's Christmas, I only wanna be close to Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. We had a great time with my sister and my nieces. We had not seen each other for about three years before this. We took a trip to Disney the week before and then they came here. The borders had been closed because of the pandemic. So seeing all my nieces and nephews and my kids playing together was the biggest Christmas gift that I could have ever asked asked for thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video happy holidays moment will fill with love and joy so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you i don't need any presents as long as i spend this day with you so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's